In this video, we're going to explore practical, interactive ways to show your child how to count, to demonstrate counting skills and to practice counting skills. Because counting skills are very important at a very young age to ensure that when your child is moving on to complete operations, that they have the counting skills in place first. So we're going to use things that you would find lying around the house and I'm just going to show you how you can progress through to counting and maybe some very early addition. So as you can see, we have just got a bit of Play-Doh and a piece of spaghetti to make a little counting rod. In place of spaghetti, you can use straws or pipe cleaners, anything you like. And we're going to just use some Cheerios because we like Cheerios, don't we James? Okay, so we're going to just do some counting. This is also an excellent activity for those fine motor skills, those actually putting, p picking up those small objects and being able to place them onto something that's quite tricky. So James, um, let's see, I'm gonna ask you to put some Cheerios on. We're gonna count as we put them on, okay? okay. Right, off you go, see if we can count. One. Excellent. Then you can progress from that. I mean, spend as much time as you feel that you need to, or if your child's enjoying it, keep on going with it. But then you can progress to encouraging those counting skills a little bit more. So this time, James, I'm going to take those off and we are going to have a competition this time. Yep. Okay. Yep. We are going to use a dice to progress those counting skills and just make them a little bit, make the activity a little bit more fun. So this time, James, when you throw the dice, Whatever number's on there, you're going to get your Cheerios and put them on. We're going to see who's going to be the winner in the end, okay? okay. All right, we're going to have two goes each. Okay. Right, okay, so you throw your dice. Oh, how many are you going to get? Three. Three. This is also a really good opportunity for some number recognition. If you want to foster number recognition, use a dice with the numbers on it. If you're not there yet, or your child isn't able to recognize the numbers just yet, then use the dice with the little dots on and then they can actually count. So again, it's using more counting skills. Oh, okay, is it my turn? Yep. Double check, you've got three. Count them. One, two, three. Okay, let's see. Oh, ooh, I've got three too. One, two, three. Right, I'm gonna put mine on. One, two, three. Three. Right, it's your turn. Okay. Oh, how many? One. Okay. One, three, eight. One, two, three, four! Four. And as you can see, he's already starting to get that language, one and three make. And really encourage your child with that. Okay, that's my turn. Yep. Oh, five. I wonder what you're going to get next time. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five, have I got five? Yep. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. How many have I got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Have I got more than you? Yep. Okay, let's see. Your turn. Oh, what is that? Two. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, how many have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So as you can see, it's a really good game. You've got that comp you've got that little bit of competition, but you've also got that constant counting, going back to counting each time to see how many you have, to see if you're winning or if you're not. And it's a really good opportunity for those counting skills to progress. If you do want to take it a little bit further and start to add in some very basic addition, this is also a very good little resource for that. What you just need to do is give your child the same little resource and we're just going to think about adding one more. Again, just very, very basic counting and very basic starting addition. Okay, so James, this time I want you to show me what one and one more would be. So can you put one on? Okay. Okay. And can you put on one more? Okay. So 
So how many have you got now? Two. So one and one more is? Two. Okay, good job. This time I want you to put three on. Okay. And again, you're actually giving your child that opportunity to count out the three and make sure that they're using that number to actually put it on their little rod. One, two, three. I wonder what one more would make if you added one more. Do you think you could do that? Four. Okay, well, let's see if you're going to be right or not. Check. One, two, three. And as you can see, he's already progressing to actually thinking and visualising that in his head and he was able to almost predict what number he was going to have on there and then he was using his little counting rod to double check. Okay, this time, James, you've got four. Do you think you could add on two more? Yeah. Okay. It will make sense. You think so? Okay, yeah. put them on. And again, you can then take it a little bit further and keep progressing with your child as you feel necessary you will see you will know what your child's capable of one two three four five six lovely good boy you were right so as you can see this is just a lovely practical really interactive little way it doesn't cost any money to make and your child as you can see from james will really enjoy it and also it's enhancing those fine motor skills so this is something that can be made so simply and quickly and can be a lot of fun